Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I post a lot of beauty related videos at the moment on my channel. I'm not even sure how many uploads I'll be doing in the new year just because I've been filming quite a lot now that I'm off for a couple of weeks. So in this video we are going to be, it's kind of a weird video because it is a full face of first impressions. Some of the stuff is kind of second impressions because I've forgotten about it and then some of the stuff is makeup I've forgotten about. So it's kind of a mixture but a lot of it is I cannot remember how any of this sits on my skin. I have a whole basket of makeup I have not used or can't remember using or I've forgotten about and we're just going to test that all over my skin. We're going to start off with XX palette because I've got loads of these and I really need to start using them on my channel. This is the XX Decadent Luxe Shimmer Palette. Now, sh not shimmer, shallow palette. The reason I have chosen the purple one is because a lot of people have asked me what the purple one is like and if I like it. I've had uh, Carly's asked me if I prefer this one or the larger palette. And I have, I've had a few people ask me about the purple palette. So Carly was like the final person that asked me about it that I was like, okay, I just need to do a video on this. So this is what it looks like. It's like velvet, just like the Bare Luxe palette that I recently did a video on. The sheet has the names on which I am oh, I don't like and then this is what the palette looks like my finger is shaking because it's hitting a nerve it's lovely it's got some nice pale purples but then it's got really nice deep pigmented purples there's a pink in there like a pinky purple so we are going to test this out the only products I do not have that's new to test out is eyeshadow primer and face powder which is fine but we have everything else to try out so the first thing we're going to do is prime my eyelids with my beauty bay eye base first shade i'm taking is this shade here i'm not sure let's check the name that is called glaze and i want to take that all in my like just above my crease we're using a pc 10 by peaches and cream now the bare Lux palette barely had any mattes in it whereas this barely has any shimmers which I am much happier about I must admit it's really nice the shimmers look lovely there is a shimmer in here that I'm absolutely cannot wait to use so this is the third time I've dipped my brush into the palette and I must admit it's nice but to get because this is kind of like a really light purple I'm having to dip my brush in it a few times, which is fine, because I'd rather build it up than it be too pigmented. We'll just do the same on the other eye as well. It is a lovely, like, lavender shade, which is a perfect shade for your transition. Oh, I don't know if there's glitter in it, or if it's just there's glitter on my brush from the last shadow I used. Like, the last time I used this brush. It is clean but I spot cleaned them so could be the last time. Just a little bit more here. This is blending out perfectly and you do know I love a good purple. Um, and then I want to take another... Ooh. Hmm. There's a couple of X's in these shades as well. Like this one here, this one here and this one here. Um, let's go in with the pink. The pinky purple is called Content. Oh, look at this shade here. This one looks, well, it's very dry. Oh, but there is pigment. Oh, see, it looks like a dark blue, but it's actually like a charcoal gray. I'm going to take that same brush for the pinky shade and let's see oh wow okay you don't need a lot of this shade at all I'm gonna well I've just dusted some off but it's got a nice gradient it's a bit patchy down here but I think that's just my technique as usual I will go back in with that first pink purple shade just to blend it out a bit more because it is pretty pigmented see this was with a tap into the eyeshadow palette and it's not as pigmented but you know we have to build it up now the other one looks pretty pigmented. 
I need to go back in with the first shade just to blend out the edges so I'm just gonna quickly do that now I feel like I've lost that purple shade and it had a lovely gradient about it so I just want to build it up again don't worry too much about this corner because you know what I'm like I will use a baby wipe and neaten it up it's the only time I use baby wipes on my skin I must admit okay, it's looking quite nice now I want to go in with this deeper purple shade here which is in the shade earth hmm, I like the name let's take this PC 11 it's kind of like a flat shader brush plop it on the outer corner here I'm gonna do the same over here I always struggle with this eye getting it perfect and just blend out to the inner corner of my eye or the inner portion I should say last brush and just blend the edges out kind of lost it a bit over here I've got this eyelash that's, there we go it's gone you can tell I was ill I got a spot here that it's just like one of those illness spots do we there is a shimmer I really want to use which is this shade here called Naked. This is so soft and I've swatched it and it's a nice duochrome. It looks pink but when you swatch it it's got like a greeny gold undertone to it. Or we've got this one here which is called Focus. Oh. No, this is even softer. I'm just hoping it translates to the lid as well. Yeah. That was a quick swipe, whereas that one took me a couple of swipes. Let's use that one, which was called Focus. I've got another one down here that looks nice. Oh, okay, this is even smoother. This one is called Deep. I've got some lovely shimmers in here. Right there another shimmer at the top which is a pink one this one's called natural neutral oh wow okay there we go okay um one more shimmer i haven't really swatched and that is rock let's try that oh these just get really creamy um swatch it there i think i've swatched it too yeah that shade there it's got to be okay let's do rock this is the pc40 that i love sometimes these don't translate well to my lid that i find from revolution so we're gonna hopefully because oh okay yeah no it transfers nicely that is doing really well That looks lovely. Just go over my crease just a little bit and then blend it out. Blend the purple into it and maybe blend a bit of that pink into it as well. Give it a little bit of ombre. Oh, that looks nice. I'm going to go back into the pink here, I mean the purple, really blend it and smoke it out. Okay, one eye complete, uh, maybe let's use <laughs> this cream shade down here called Champagne as my brow bone highlight because you know how much love a good cream matte, not cr like a beigey matte shade under my eye because I've gone too overboard we're just gonna blend it back out with the lighter shade once I go off camera and do my eyes I'm gonna use one of these Becca ignite liquefied light highlight oh I thought these were primers oh they're highlighters I'm not gonna use that I'm just gonna use my honey do me up then hmm I'm sad always thought it was a primer so I have a new foundation to test out now this is very bougie for me this is Huda Beauty 
faux filter high coverage cream foundation i've got it in the shade creme brulee it says there's 150 grams um so that translates to 35 mils which is quite hefty i bought it off of carly because why i don't think it was the shade for her so yeah we're gonna try this if it doesn't work we're gonna bronze up like we usually do bought it for 15 quid which i think is a bargain because i don't actually know how much it is and I don't want to know. Oh, it's quite yellow. I hate when I'm pale and I try to test out foundations. It's nice and creamy though. But it's very yellow. This is not the shade for me, but we're gonna test it out anyway. It's blending out um, like really nicely. I'm not sure if this is meant to be like the high coverage one. It's got a smell to it, like a nice perfume smell. Reminds me of something like older people used to wear when I was a child. I haven't put eyeliner on because, <laughs> because I don't actually have a new felt tip eyeliner to test out. So, oh, I do. Okay, that would be next month's first impressions. My Artitude one, which actually doubles up as a, a lash adhesive. I'll try that next time. This is a really nice foundation though, considering it's not my shade. I really don't feel like this is going to be a favourite, which I'm glad because it's clinging to dry patches. It is gone quite matte now, and you know I don't like a matte foundation. It looks lovely on the areas where there's no dry dryness, but around my nose where there is, it's really clinging to it. Like My skin looks like it's wrinkly around my nose. This looks very yellow on camera, but off camera it doesn't look too too bad but we're going to use a concealer and the concealer we're going to use is the elf camo concealer i remember buying this and using it in a elf video but i don't remember what i thought of it i don't like putting too much concealer on or too much foundation on nowadays even though this won't kind of translate What I hate about first impressions is the shade match. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Powder in 3W. This has got some kind of um, color to it, so hopefully it changes the color of the foundation. I'm hoping. Okay, looking very yellow. We are going to use a Primark bronzer. This is in the shade Fearless. This was two pounds. They actually still do these, so I thought I might as well use it. We are going to seriously change the colour of my skin at this point now. I'm telling you, I cannot stand this orange, uh, your orange yellowness. And this is such a nice bronzer, wow. I've got it in the lightest shade because you know what I'm like. I like a really light bronzer. Okay, we're looking a bit more like myself. looks so much better and i really like that bronzer i went in heavy handed with it um blusher i'm gonna use this pinky promise one because i haven't used it and i feel like i'm gonna go in with no this shade here called whisper i went a little bit heavy handed but it still looks nice then for highlight, I'm going to be using this True Match highlight. I don't know what shade this is, but it's one of these looking ones. And I want to go for the shade here. Can you see that? Because I can't. It's a very subtle highlight. I didn't think it would be like that. You really got to dig your brush in. Okay, it's coming out better. I think it just had like one of those layers on. This one I found in Superdrugs, all sealed, but it had been smashed. So I bought it for a very good offer once. Just never got around to using it. You really got to like, I'm only using the gold side. Slide your brush in. Put some bronzer here. So when I take pictures, it doesn't look too, like a different color. Never do that, but I'm doing it today kind of doesn't look too great but okay um 
For brows, I'm using my XX Brow Pomade. Yeah, I've used it a couple of times, but I don't... I know it's not as great as my Primark. I can remember that. Yeah, it's a bit drier, but it's not too bad. Let's see. I think I've put a bit too much on the brush. It is a nice shade. I've got the shade medium brown. I always go for a bit of a medium because my brows are dark anyway. So I don't need to look like I've got one of those really dark brows. I just need to fill them in. So I've got some sparse areas. I'm quite quick at my brows to be fair. Don't really do much to them. See, that's it. That is all I do. So I think before I do anything else, there's a little just dryness in the middle of my nose and I think it's time for a setting spray. So we're gonna use this Barry M All Night Long Makeup Setting Spray. It says extra strong. I'll be the test of that. Okay, that smell is not that nice. It's so fine that it barely hits your face. Doesn't feel like anything's on my face, but it feels really nice. Reminds me of my XX one. Like, it's melted into my skin really quickly and it's dried. I wonder if that would, like, hold my makeup in place all day long. Should we go for something a bit pink or should I change and use a bit of the brown lip liner by Little Mix? Um, we'll try the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in, I think this is Pillow Talk, yeah, Pillow Talk, which I got in that set. If I don't like how pink it is, I'll go in with Little Mix in Suede. This is just something from a Christmas gift set a few years ago, but I've never used it, so I thought I might as well. It's so smooth, very pink. It's really nice, it's very like, it goes with the eye look because it's pale and it's toning it down a bit. Obviously you've got to try the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury Lipstick in Pillow Talk. I've heard so many things about this. It's nice, but it's nothing wow. Then, let's use the gloss. The gloss is pink and shimmery, and you know how much I love a gloss. It's a very thin formula. I'll put a picture in the corner of what set this came from. It's very nice and very girly, I must admit. Um, I feel like going in with that dark purple again and blending out with the pink will look really nice. And then for an inner corner highlight, let's go in with this shade here that originally I was going to use. And then for mascara, I have this Primark Dramatic Lash Volume and Length Thinning Mascara. I have used this and I remember not liking it as much as the other Primark mascaras. I thought I hadn't. Like it's quite a wet formula, but nothing goes not much goes onto your eyelashes you've really got to build this one up okay guys this is the finished look other than the foundation definitely being the wrong color for me i feel like on camera it's going to look much worse than it does in real life because in real life it's kind of blended out quite nicely um i like everything i'm the foundations clings to dry patches so it's not going to be a foundation i reach for other than the color match is not that great um the concealer color match wasn't that great either um but everything else i really like the palette is gorgeous the pomade isn't too bad you know the lipstick i really like this i do really like it um, the mascara, actually, after I built the mascara up, it was quite nice. The blush is nice. The highlight is really subtle, but still a shade that I like. I'm, um, the bronzer was really nice. The amount I packed on and it still, like, didn't go on too heavy. So I really like everything in this video, to be fair. Um, and I'm, I'm glad. The lips 
really nice shade, I must admit. I'm sad there wasn't a primer that was an illuminator, but I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this first impression video, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.